You know, I woke up this morning thinking, I need a new toolbox. I deserve a new toolbox. I should go buy a new toolbox. I cut, you know, I work hard. I cut the grass once a week. I fix what needs fixing when I get around to it. Uh, I think I'm going to treat myself. Then this happened. Yes, you see what I mean. Look at the prices of those toolboxes. You've got to be kidding me. Do they come loaded with tools? We're going to fix this problem because we got an old one and we're going to make it new again. Well, new. Uh, it's going to look different. Let's go with that. Good morning and welcome back. We are finally, uh, finally, we got the sun out. The past couple of days we have had Hurricane Burl come through. I'll, I'll learn this eventually, folks. We had Hurricane Burl come through and uh, dumped a bunch of rain and whatnot and messed up my backyard. And have a quick look. Well, this is the one they were calling for around noon. Coming down pretty good right now. Hopefully, we're catching some more free water. Of course, this water is free too. Unless you live in Toronto, they want to tax the rainwater, I hear. Someone was asking about this uh, little decor here. You guys all know I made that. This here, R48. I don't know if I told y'all. Hendrick Motorsports, Certificate of Authenticity. I can't see it, but come off the 48 Cobalt car. Jimmy Johnson. Fun fact. But that is not what today's video was about. It is about this. Yeah, the shop turned into a mess yet again. You just get it cleaned up and all of a sudden it's a disaster again. So. We got this old toolbox that was holding, well, scrap, pretty much. So we're going to give this thing a quick sand to see if we can make it useful again. We've got a mess pretty much everywhere. Got all this new pool. That's got to get put up as well. It just never ends for me, guys. It just never ends. First things first, we're going to get that done so we can get this cleaned up. Back where it's usable again. I do it to myself. Nobody else. Nobody comes in here. It's all me. So we're just going to run over that toolbox with some 220 real quick. Just to scuff it all up. So that the paint sticks better. I think we're going to go flat black. But first, as much as I don't like chrome. I'm going to cover up the handles. The pieces in the front. So we've got everything masked off, all the chrome. I mean, if it, did it have to be perfect? No. Uh, but if you're gonna go this far, you might as well mask what you can and see how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out very well, we'll just cover it all up. But there's some splatter over here from lathe work. But other than that, it's not in too bad a shape at all. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit this with some 220, uh, scuff it up a little bit, and we're gonna hit it with some flat black. Why? Because black's my favorite color. And that's what I had on the shelf. Got everything knocked down with the 220. I'm not worried about the inside. This is going to get the uh, drawer matting in it, so I'm not overly concerned with that, but not too bad. I'm going to wipe that down and we're going to spray it. You, know, you may ask yourself, why are you painting a toolbox? Well, first of all, I want black. Second of all, I uh, price toolboxes, and uh, if you have not priced toolboxes lately, uh, you got to go get a second mortgage on your house just to buy one. So, this is nothing wrong with this one here. I fixed the one drawer over there, so everything works fine now. I even got the keys for it. So, I might as well paint it. All right, so I got all the drawers set open. So I can paint the tops. Again, 
not worried about the inside. And in true fashion, I hope I got enough paint. Rules. You want to make sure you start with a half a can of paint. You don't want a full can, you want to start with a half a can. Why? So that you have to run back out and get more. Two, you want to make sure it's windy. I've got you guys inside a doorway here so you can't really see the wind, but you want to spray in the wind. That way it gets everywhere. Let's get to it. Well, a half a can is covering pretty good so far. That's not too bad right there. The front's pretty much done. It dries quick in the wind. That's not too bad over there. Now we got to get the top and the back. But I mean, that's not bad at all. I'll get this finished up and show you when we're done. Everything's covered up. It all looks good. Again, that's getting matte, so we're not worried about it. But I do want to get the top done in case I have a closed top. Now we are uh, down to air here. So I've got to stretch it out to get this done. I'm not so worried about the back. That's against the wall. And of course, I don't ever plan on transporting the toolbox. So you're not going to see that. And if you do see that, then you're the one that's got the problem, not me. Let's see if we stretch this out. The wind is not helping at all. Come on, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. I know you can. I think we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Oh yes. All right, now I just gotta go over some of the spots back there where I see red showing through and uh, like right here. Oh, we're running out. And uh, we'll let her dry up and then we'll get back to you. So now once that dries, I now gotta tackle this mess, this mess, finally get everything put away uh i have that toolbox was nothing more than just a catch-all and we don't want to catch all we want to be able to use it so i've got the pegboard up there i got more pegs coming for that uh later today i'm going to go pick up the padding for the inside of the drawers and uh i'll end up showing you the finished product when it's done but so far it ain't looking too bad well, it is the next day, and I knew it wasn't going to last. Here's what I mean. See the red on the back there, where I said nobody's going to see it from the road? Same with the top here. Drawers, not really a big deal. I got matting to put down there, which was really good today, but I did it. I went and bought another can. I think that's going to bother me, so I figured I might as well get it done. And yes, you're not going to see it, but I'll know it's there. Let me get this painted up and you're dark again. Let me get this painted up and then we'll see what it looks like. Well, I must admit, it does look a lot better now. I even painted the chrome strip that was on the front. Worst case scenario, I could take the paint off with a piece of steel wool. But look around here at the back. It's drying up. I just, just didn't want to open the lid and a big red blob looking at you. So, again, nobody else is going to see it, but I know it's there. So we're going to let this dry up, and then we're going to put all the matting in the bottom of the tool drawers as well as the top. The paint is all dried up. It doesn't look too bad. Okay. 
Jen was at Dollar Tree the other day. That's what she came back with. Non-slip shelf liner. 12 inches by 72 inches. So that's six feet long, foot wide. Cut her down, and it is non-slip. Dollar twenty-five from the Dollar Tree. Can't beat it. Let's get the drawers lined up, and then this thing's gonna be finished. Well, this escalated quickly. Well, there's no denying that the bottom painted black with this on top looks pretty good, right? Well, I want to put this one here in, and it had a red bottom. The red was showing through all the mesh. Well, it looked terrible, so we got to wait a little longer because I just painted all the inside of the drawers. So, once all this dries up, we'll get the mat put in place, but I think that looks really good. Not bad at all. I'm going to cut the rest of these as it's ready to go as soon as it dries. Well, here we are. That looks much better. Like I said, the inside is painted black. That sits a lot nicer. I mean, you can't see the red glaring through there, which is, you know, you're not going to see it from the road, like I said, but I still know it's there. A quick little walk around. Now, this is a total of 12 feet of this drawer stuff. And I'm still short. I got them all. Except this one right here and uh, like I said before now we can call it done no we can't I got to do the bottom drawer I always get ahead of myself well story of my life I've come up short I don't have enough pieces to glue in that bottom so the bottom is gonna have to wait until I get another roll chance of me getting another roll are probably pretty slim because I'm never gonna remember to do it unless I text Jenny while she's at the store She'll remember. She don't forget much. Trust me. But here we are. All set up. I got to get a hold of Puddin' Fab Shop because I need to get a bunch of stickers. I've been meaning to do that for a long time. Uh, it's taken me a long time. But it's done. My work day, it ain't done. Uh, I'm about to change the oil in Jen's Durango. I don't think you want to watch me do that. You've all seen me do that before. So I'm probably going to knock that out real quick. And then uh, I'll be back. Well, there goes the Durango with fresh oil. The afternoon has not been without an event. Jenna's on a time crunch and I'm giving her a hard time about it, which is going to cost me in the end. You watch. So here's the uh, dilemma slash event of the afternoon. So, you know, we've been working on mom's car. It, it, it's now good to go. Uh, it wasn't without, uh, well, it's been about a month. And it's not the garage's fault. It's not anybody's fault. Except, uh, well, it is somebody's fault, but they don't care, so we're not going to tell them. Try to get the ownership of stuff switched over today. After we got the safety and the safety was done and things of that nature. My mother lives 20 minutes from us. Uh, I thought documentation was in her car. She told me she had the documentation at home. Uh, License Bureau closes at 5 o'clock. For my American friends, that's your DMV. And, uh, of course, there's... Five million flaming hoops you gotta jump through to get a car switched over into your name. And it compounds if you're the one switching it over and you're not the owner. Nevertheless, what I thought was gonna have to wait until Monday, we managed to get done in the last 20 minutes of their workday. I might need a cold beer after this one. Well, we are quickly running out of the daylight here, but our day is not over yet. Sun's about to go down, and we are heading to Chatham. Why? Because we are about to deliver Mom's car. Finally done, finally legal, and she is excited to get it back. So I'm just waiting for Austin to come pick me up, and uh, we're gonna run home. So Mom will finally have her car back. Well, we got Mom's car delivered to her. She was very, very happy to have it back because it gives her a little more independence. All I have left to do now is fill this up with some tools, uh, stickers. Gotta get some stickers. No toolbox is complete with those stickers. But, got a few things in here. This is my air, some pliers, some heavier stuff, like it's a bigger drawer. It will not be filled with junk. It'll be filled with tools that I use because when you fill them with junk, 
nothing gets used everything gets lost anyway that's all i got for today's video hope you all enjoyed that just trying to make something out of nothing actually i'm cheap i'm trying to save a dollar in fact i think i saved a few hundred dollars today thanks for watching see you all in the next one later